Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. Well, the 2024 pulling season is officially in the books. Uh, we did really well. I think we took second place in points. Uh, but uh, I won't know until probably the banquet in February. But uh, yeah, um, we did really well. Uh, but with the end of the season, it's time to winterize plan B. Uh, just like always, you know, we gotta get the methanol out of the fuel system. Uh, we'll run some WD-40 through there to, you know, t displace any water, all that kind of stuff, get everything looped up. Uh, but uh, we are gonna be changing that carburetor, so, um, well, char carburetor and intake. So, um, you know, we're gonna be changing other stuff on there too, so. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, so let's get busy doing it. y'all before we can get started doing the fuel system um, when we got loaded up for the pull uh, for the last pull uh, plan B we broke a hinge don't know how we broke it but it's broke so we gotta get the hood off get the other half of this piece or other other piece of this off and uh, I'll show you how it works but uh, we got to get it off and uh, get it welded up and uh, uh, then we can start doing the uh, fuel system and stuff. So let me pull this hood off and we'll show you what uh, what happened. All right, y'all. Uh, there's the piece that's actually, the hinge that's actually still good. Uh, you know, this is the side that broke off and the hood, of course, the hood's upside down. I know the light's sucky, but there is a little bit of thread left there. And this piece goes on like that. So... I'm hoping I can get a nut on there and we can just uh, weld around the nut here and weld it over here and uh, make it stronger and uh, better but uh, it, it hooks up in uh, hooks up in there it goes up in this little area right in here it goes behind this little plate there's one on this side too and that's where the that's where it pivots at so let me get these pieces pulled off. Um, I'll probably do the welding and stuff off camera. You guys have seen me weld before, so I uh, uh, need to get that done. And then uh, we can uh, start uh, getting that fuel system air uh, all cleaned out. So we'll bring you guys back when I, after I get this piece fixed up. Alright y'all, we got that all welded up. Uh, not the prettiest weld, but it is welded up. So uh, we used a nut as a coupler, welded it to the nut that was already on there, and uh, welded it around the other side of the nut and everything. So should be good and strong. We're going to put off installing it uh, until we uh, get the engine pulled out to do the governor change. So uh, now what we need to do is we're going to start it up. I got all the excess fu extra fuel out of it. Uh, we got uh, we got a running running bowl dry, and then we'll put some WD in the uh, tank, WD-40 that is, and pump it through and kind of fog the block, and the engine will be ready to ready to be uh, winterized. Uh, we are going to pull that carburetor and intake off. Uh, it'll be for a future build because we have to use a plastic intake and downdraft carburetor in the uh, modified 25 horse class 6,000 RPM governed so uh, yeah um, we gotta you know I'll take the carburetor apart after we get it off and clean it out really good but uh, for right now this is what we're gonna do so let's get her uh, get you guys on a tripod and uh, we'll get this thing fired up and get the uh, fuel ran out of it
carburetor. So I'm going to dump some WD in and we'll crank it over. If it fires up, it fires up. If it don't, it'll still suck it into the cylinder. It'll get it through the uh, fuel pump and uh, get everything all winterized. So, uh, let me find a container because I want to pump it. Pump the uh, WD through the fuel line and fuel pump before we get it to the carburetor. So, uh, give me a second and we'll be right back. Alright, y'all. I got the uh, fuel pump and everything flushed out. I got it primed up to the carburetor. So, let's see if we can uh, get it fired up or uh, just run it until it uh, uh, fogs the cylinder, so there we go. Fuel. Smells like WD on my hand, so uh, we're good to go. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pump the rest of that out of the tank, and uh, we'll uh, I'll turn it over, crank it over, try to get some of that out of the bowl. But uh, yeah, we're good to go. actually running on WD-40. So, alright. Cool. Alright y'all, I got plan B all done, or the fuel system at least done, uh, cleaned out, ready to you know, store for the winter. Uh, we will be pulling the engine on that and taking it apart. We're putting a governor back in it. Yeah, I know. I usually don't, I don't like the governor classes, but to run in the 25 mod, which I think this engine will do good in, I gotta have an internal governor and a downdraft carburetor. So we'll be back on race gas. Uh, and then uh, that, like I said, this, this should do really, really good in, in here. The cam that's in it, I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's not a true open RPM cam uh, like what should be in there. Uh, I thought about just putting, you know, a different cam in it. But I don't know what it's in it for connecting rods. I know they're welded up uh, stock pistons. So, and, and they're getting some blow by. So, if I'm going to buy new pistons and I have the connecting rods, I might as well just go ahead and, you know, build a whole new engine, which I've got most of the parts to do. So, but that engine's going to go on a different frame. So, to keep plan B around, keep them pulling, we've got to do what we got to do. So, there's that. Um, the other project is um, a monkey business. Uh, ready to start doing the brakes from, you know, getting the brakes set up on that. And then we can move to exhaust and fit in the fender, rear fenders and the tunnel, the shift tunnel and stuff in it. So uh, we're going to start getting on that, get it done. And this weekend, which probably while you guys are watching this, uh, I'm going to go pick up the lumber to build my loft. Um, I just had not had time in the last couple months with the pulling and everything else going on, side jobs, uh, stuff that I haven't built it, videoed for YouTube. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go pick the lumber up this weekend for that. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, pick up the lumber and hopefully over the Thanksgiving weekend, the long weekend that I got from work, uh, get my buddy Danny over here. Uh, Maybe you can help me. We'll get this uh, loft built and get some of the spare parts that I have that are just stacked on the floor over here behind Plan B. Uh, kind of my junk area. Get that stuff up in the loft. Stuff that I don't want to get rid of because it's still good stuff. I just don't need it right this minute. So, yeah. 
that's the plan. Uh, make some more storage and a uh, little more work area, kind of. So, yeah, um, that's what's going on. So, uh, I know this ain't much of a video, but that's what what we got going on. Uh, we're gonna get back into to you know regular video mode here directly. Uh, just some odds and ends I gotta take care of, get things squared away, and uh, we can get busy. So. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate you. If you would, please hit the thumbs up. Share it out to your friends. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Um, if there's something I forgot, you know, that you want to see, whatever, um, you know, uh, leave me a comment down below. And uh, by the way, we also hit uh, 850,000 views on the channel. Um, that's a lot, y'all. I never thought this would get this far, um, you know, I, it's taken off, uh, you know, we're, we're almost at 5,000 subscribers, we're like 700 away or something like that, um, so yeah, that's awesome, um, so please, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, it's free, even the like button, it's free, it don't cost you all nothing, but it does help out the channel, um, it tells the uh, algorithm that, uh, you know, people like it. People like to watch what I'm doing. I hope you like what I'm watching what I'm doing. So, you know, over 60% of you aren't subscribed. Please, it's free. Hit the button. So, if you like the content, thank you. And uh, I'm rambling, so let's get out of here and uh, we'll uh, get another video made. Appreciate y'all. Catch y'all on the next one.